hello viewers welcome to my channel connect civilians so in this lecture we are going to see how to design a combined footing using the spreadsheet so here our phase distance is provided so what is the phase distance so this uh, distance from the corner of the uh, face of the column to the corner of the footing so this value is limited as per the size requirement so we have to fill that value so we have already designed the type 1 combined footing and you can go and check it out i put the link in the description or end of this video okay so and here the change is happening that this uh, column uh, distance of column from the edge will be given so you can't uh, increase the size of footing or extend the side of footing from that also okay so how you have to provide the value here i will show you this this detail is you have to fill for column one and this will be for column two okay so p1 will be the load so here if you will see the colored box set you have to manually fill for the initial uh, value of the footing what load is coming what is the sbc of the soil what is our column size what is the unit weight of the soil depth of the footing grade of the footing okay so all these value you have to fill after the this express sheet will help you to design your footing combined footing for a square column so this is for the square column we will also come with the rectangular column in future okay right now this will be okay here we are going to consider the column size as 400 by 400 and for column 2 our size is 500 by 500 you have to just change the value what i am changing or you have to just change the value in the colored boxes okay our sbc is 150 no it is 220 okay sbc is okay our load is coming on the column so our load is coming at 600 on column 1 and 700 on column 2 okay this will be your factor 910 kN load okay now unit weight of the soil here it is 18 we are considering 18 it will depend on the density of the soil depth of the footing or backfill on footing so what amount uh, at how much depth your footing is started so you have to fill the distance from the ground to the footing top okay so after assume that after one meter our footing is started below ground okay grade of concrete so this grade you have to fill what grade you are using for the footing so here we are taking the grade of footing as m25 generally if for footing minimum grade you have to take for safety consideration do not go with the less than m25 grade okay for column it is m20 that will be okay because our building was only g plus 2 story so this grade will be okay and okay you can also get these values from your structural consultant okay and if you are a structure engineer so you don't i don't need to explain how this value is taken but if you are a site engineer so where you have to consider uh, the SBC and where you can find the SBC you can also use the code or you can follow your structure engineer okay <coughs> so if you have uh, if you have designed your building from using the software like stat and etap so you can also get the result of the load from there only okay <coughs> now self weight of the soil okay grade for footing and column we have given grade of steel we are going to take as 500 that will be okay self weight of footing we are going to consider 10 percent here now every initial values we have inserted so, so self weight of the soil is coming as 18 kN per meter square total load including the self weight of the footing is coming as 1430 kN area of footing is 6.5 so here if you will see our length and breadth is coming as before that you have to fill this center center distance between the columns okay so these are two other columns so here this distance that is 
from center of C1, column C1 and center of column C2 you have to fill. So this will be 2.5. Okay, it is 3. And this distance of column 1 phase from edge. So this will be your column 1 phase and this will be our edge of the footing. So you have to fill this distance. Okay. So here our distance is 0 0.35. Okay. So this see here this value is changes because this value is ta uh, taken up to the center so it will adding 0 0.35 plus 400 by 2 up to this center okay so this distance will come as 0 0.55 now so this value is not going to change according to your load what value you have inserted according to that this value is changes okay in our type 1 combined footing uh, here the footing edge is considered as per the load and shear force and bending movement and resultant of the loads ok but here we have limited uh, distance from the edge so we have to first provide the our uh, given distance from the edge after that all the value will be calculated according to that ok so this condition will occur on the side where you, your edge footing is coming or your column is coming at the edge or nearby the edge of the footing edge of the building ok and where if you see the duplexes house so your footing will come at the corner of the building so here on that case this will be considered ok now our length and breadth is coming as per the calculation as 4.33 and 1.5 so we are going to consider value greater than that and this will be 4 that will be ok so this will be width and this will be your length <coughs> ok so here your length is calculated as 4.33 now what you have to do you don't need to change the length of the footing as here our uh, all the dimensions calculated first so you have to only allow to change the width of the footing okay here it was showing you not okay so we are going to increase the width so this take as 2 meter okay now it was showing you okay the area of provided area of our footing is coming as 8.66 meter square and our calculated is 86.5 so this will be okay so our length is coming as 4.33 meter width will be 2 meter okay you can also go with 1.7 and check so this is also safe so according to you you can follow okay okay i am taking it as 1.6 right for now and it is okay but what happen if for in one way and two way i will always told you that for that check you have to just increase the value what here you have calculated by 30 to 40 times 30 times only, uh, almost so what will happen that will going to be safe in one way two ways here otherwise you have to increase the steel later okay so now i'm going with this dimension it will be okay and your net upper process is calculated 187 which is less than 220 so this is also ok 220 is our SBC and you, here you don't have to change anything only you have to change in the colored box I will again repeat this and, uh, and check the red one whether it is showing you ok or not further you can proceed so all the dimension is calculated that is CG of and one more thing here you CG of the footing will be considered equal to the CG of the column ok in the uh, calculation of shear force and bending moment and where shear force is zero it, uh, your bending moment is coming as maximum in hogging okay so uh, here your bending moment calculation is uh, shown so udl ultimate udl along x direction is calculated so this will be your x direction and this will be your y so it will calculate 450.27 this will be a factored or ultimate UDL 
critical section at the face of column uh, C2 and this will be the C1 okay so this will be a critical length in y direction from the face of column C1 and C2 and here shear force will be calculated and bending moment is calculated so shear force this will be the your shear force diagram and here we also provided the bending moment diagram where sagging is happening at the corner and hogging is going at the center so in natural if you see on site what will happen hogging will bend the slab upward so tension is developing here okay but as per the bending moment diagram it will shown here this will be a negative and this will be a positive okay so don't confuse for hogging moment what you have to do you have to provide the steel at the upper of the footing okay that's why in, in combined footing we provide the steel for the lower and upper part for the both the parts okay now this will be your shear force at left of c1 and shear force at the right of c1 and c1 is c2 is the column 1 and column 2 centers okay here shear force at the left so it will be here that is 247.65 sign will denote either it is happening in uh, the up, upward clockwise or downward anticlockwise okay or anticlockwise so sign do not uh, show the negative but it will show the, your the direction and the load uh, direct, uh, direction either it is going upward or coming downward okay so shear force and bending moment uh, will be calculated for C1 and C2 also and at the center where shear force is 0 because where shear force is 0 your bending moment will be maximum so your bending moment is calculated at shear where shear force is 0 is minus 404.47 if you consider from this side or from that side that will value will be same okay 404.67 negative sign show you this will be your hogging bending moment now depth of the footing so here it is calculated as per the your provided fe steel and fck what grid you have taken for the footing so our dx is calculated at 276 mm now according to this bending maximum bending moment is 404 and according to that you have to increase your overall depth uh, up to 30 to 40 times greater than this calculated value so i'm going with the uh, 500 of total depth here and cover we are taken as 50 and this bar diameter for first and second layer so for first layer uh, this value is taken from the uh, column sorry here bottom reinforcement of column one okay and bar out of second layer will be what your transfer steel for the column one and column two which is provided at the bottom of the footing okay this green bar so effective depth is taken according to this condition here you if you see uh, do not take the affected depth from the top of the steel okay you have to consider from the bottom so it will be bottom will be dx sorry dy and the top where transfer steel is provided it will be dx okay so from there this value is taken i have uh, shown you here okay so i will protected these two boxes so you can you can understand what value we have taken so I will tell uh, not to change uh, the value by yourself okay otherwise all the calculation will be disturbed that's why I haven't uh, done it in a colored boxes so you are not confused but you can check what value you have taken from where we have taken the effective depth and where it is provided okay this is for the consideration only so you can understand easily okay but you do not have to change these two dia bars here you can you have to only change the dia bar in these boxes in the colored boxes in the reinforcement part okay so your effective depth for the main reinforcement at the bottom is 442 and this will be safe it is coming greater than 276 for and dy for dx also it is 426 that will be okay now it is safe so you can further proceed for the reinforcement calculation 
so now we are going for the maximum bending mode that is for hogging moment we have to provide the bar at the top of the putting this orange bar at the top for this we have to provide the value so maximum bending moment is taken percentage is calculated still percentage 0.318 which will be 1.6 that is 1600 mm effective depth is 442 and dia of bar so here you have to change according to your uh, your uh, availability and what is how much amount of steel is required so go with 12 mm so change 12 see here if you see i will change the value so this value also change so this value will not change as it is for the top bar so go with the 16 mm bar so number of bar is coming as ST requires commit 2 to 4 3, which is greater than our ST minimum. So, so spreadsheet is going to consider the maximum value. So, number of bar required is coming at 11. We are providing 11 first. If you see, so this will show you not okay as your EST calculator is less than EST required. So, increase one more bar. Okay. Now it is okay, and for the specific consideration, it is also okay. So, we will provide. 16 mm of bar at 135 mm center to center of spacing for the top reinforcement in longitudinal direction okay so in figure if you see this orange top bar okay 16 at 38 or 130 or center for the whole the footing at the top in longitudinal direction is provided okay now go for the bottom reinforcement at under column 1 so our, our moment under column 1 is 68 so this value is taken here percentage okay it is calculated width will be 1600 effective depth is 442 now you have to change this as it is calculated in a bottom reinforcement in longitudinal direction so if you will do it 12 mm see now this value will be changed here and this effective depth is also changes according to this everything is changes every value is changes so just consider the dia bar first what dia bar you want to use after that change all the values otherwise your effective depth will be changing and you have to again check either it will show you okay or not in all the reinforcement parts okay so here your effective depth is changes okay but we are going to take 16 mm dia bar for all the is still in at the top and bottom okay if area is coming less you can go with 12 also that it was not compulsory to provide uh, 16 mm okay but we are going with 12 so st required is coming at 358 which is less than our st minimum that is coming in 960 software will uh, uh, spreadsheet will tell you to go with go with the minimum bar here software is going with the minimum number of bar calculator is coming as 5 so this provides 5 right now here it is ok but for spacing condition condition it was not ok so what you have to do you have to increase the bar at 6 again it will show you not ok increase it at 7 again same condition is happening as basically as spacing is coming as 231 and it should be less than 150 for FE500 so go with 12 number of bars or 11 number of bars Go with 10. Now, if you go with 10 number of bar also, so spacing is coming as clear spacing as 140, and this will be okay. So, you can go with 16 mm dia bar at 165 mm center center at the bottom of the column 1. 16 at 165 mm center at the bottom of the column 1. Okay, so this orange bar in the bottom of the column 1 you to provide. Okay. and up to how much so you have to check for the ld also okay similarly for bottom of the column 2 make uh, your bending moment to consider for the column 2 here it is taken and every value is taken now we are going with same dia of bar the number of bar is coming with uh, 5 so i am going with 10 also so same number of bar we are going to provide 16 mm of 
dia at 165 center center at bottom of column 2 16 mm bar at 165 center center at bottom of column 2 and the remaining question you can go with the minimum also 30 16 at 177 center center ast minimum you can provide here okay this type of bar or you can directly provide throughout the footing at the bottom in longitudinal direction of as 16 mm at 165 center to center for the whole uh, footing so that you don't need to provide the lapping and the cut bar at the center just uh, provide throughout uh, straight bars for whole footing so that but work is much easier on site okay because there is not a much difference of steel for this for the under the column one and column two and for the remaining portion so you can go with that also provide 16 mm 165 for hold the footing in longitudinal direction at the bottom okay now we are calculated for the bottom and we can also check for the development length either it was saved in the development length if you will go with i check is code 456 clock 26 to 0.2 0.3 0.3 we are not going to open the is code for now but we have provided the clock you can also check at here that was given that m1 by v plus l naught is should be greater than equal to ld so this value will be checked from that there only so here is the diagram for bending moment and this is the point of contraflexure where shear force will be value will be coming so at these points okay it is calculating either it was safe for ld or not okay so this will be calculated by itself here value will taken from there only and all the value will be calculated here what you have to do you have to also provide if you are taking the deform bar or plane bar so if you are taking the deform bar you have to increase it by 60% so here I am doing this that that is 1.6 LD is coming at 777 mm and L0 will be 442 so whichever is greater either d effective or 12d so that value is taken by the software and available value is coming 1157 which is safe as ld is 777 so this will be safe for in the development length also now we can further we haven't mentioned this in combined footing type 2 as it is not much required in that condition we because we haven't uh, given the edge distance or there it was calculated by the bending moment only in shear force so that's why but here we have fixed that value this value so you have to check for this okay now this will be okay so we can go for transfer steel under column 1 under column 2 and for the column for the area where remaining portion will left okay so for transfer steel for 16 and dia bar so if you change this value your dx sorry bar diameter for bottom second layer value will change i will show you if you change it as 8 here it is 8 okay so you have to consider in mind what value you have to change so i am going with 16 mm so no affected depth will be changed affected is coming 426 mm our central band width so at how much distance you have to provide these bars okay so this is the your width 1252 if you see the figure this will be a figure it is 1252 under column 1 and it is 1352 under column c2 so up to this width you have to provide these bars okay and on the remaining portion this and at both the corner you have to provide st minimum so under column one it is calculated and your bar required is coming as four numbers if you go with six let's go with six because you have to also check for a clear spacing it was not okay go with seven not okay go with eight okay so it is showing you okay right now it is okay so we are providing 16 mm dia bar at 162 center center under column c1 in transfer direction so 16 number 
this one 16 at 162 center center and the column one this green bottom one okay now you can go for column c2 similar by dia bar we have to consider you don't have to change the dia bar in different section as different okay just take the same dia bar for whole footing either you are using the main reinforcement for main research for reinforcement take the same bar for the transfer reinforcement take the same bars okay but it was now composite for depend on your side conditions also and load that is provided there okay it is much different in the load so you can go with the different part okay now this is also okay right now and four bar is provided so here we also providing eight bar at so spacing will be okay but seven bar let go with seven bar not okay provide eight bars with eight bars okay but nine bars it was still not coming nine bars it will be okay so providing 16 at bar at 130 uh, 155 center under column c2 16 m and i 155 under column c2 up to distance of 1352 mm from the center of the column c2 in left and right okay and in the remaining question about you to do you have to provide ast minimum we have calculated ast minimum also for the remaining portion okay provide 7 bar this will be okay here it is 131 we have to provide st minimum in the remaining portion that is 16 m dia bar at 131 center to center 16 mm dia bar 131 mm center to center at the remaining portion sorry 131 you have to follow the 147 mm center to center of spacing okay okay so this will be okay right now now it still is provided you can go for one way and two way checks here along y direction so we have considered for both the column column c1 and c2 this will be also depth will be taken with will be taken here ultimate value for share is calculated dominant share is calculated i am not going in detailed description about this as we have done in in a combined footing design of type 1 already okay so here you can follow the is456 table 19 this value will be taken and this will be the percentage still is coming and what grader you consider according to that this value will be taken from is code 456 from table 19 interpolation will be used by on this table if you want to check and if you don't have the is code 456 this will be the assumption and so from sp16 this formula is given sp16 so according to that also you can calculate so it will be calculated by itself here it will show you not safe in shear consideration so you have to provide the shear reinforcement also okay and in uh, rectangular combined footing you have to provide 8 leg of stirrup at least so con we are considering 8 mm dia bar of 8 leg step and grade is 415 so our spacing is coming 177 and maximum spacing is 227 so provide 170 for safer values less than this if you provide 200 it will show you not safe because our spacing is coming 177 provide 170 this will be safe you have to provide the shear reinforcement as this according to these values okay shear reinforcement what is shear reinforcement it is provided in the, in the type of the stirrups okay this blue bar okay so we will talk in other lecture in detail about the stirrup here we are not going to see that and this will be for column c2 uh, it will show you not safe for what you have to do again it is coming 166 to provide 160 and here you can also increase that provide at the same spacing for hold the whole uh, uh, stirrup okay so 8 at 160 center center spacing stirrup is provided 8 leg stirrups okay what is a 8 leg stirrup i will told you in next lecture okay 
I will tell you in next lecture where we talk uh, in detail about the stirrups. Okay. Now this will be safe here, so you can further go with the design. Check for two way of punching here, so you can calculate for the maximum load loaded column. And we have done for the both as our size and load both are different but if the size will same so you can uh, check for the column where maximum on on column where maximum load is coming okay here don't need to change any values or what you have to check is check whether it is safe or non both if it is not so you have to increase the depth or width of the footing okay now check for transfer load at the base so we have done for column c1 in this excel sheet and in type 1 we have done for both the columns so here we haven't freeze all the values what you have to do you can change the formula for uh, for column c2 in this sheet and if you don't need it you can download the type 1 also so for both the column we have done here there so you can check for that also okay so according to this you have to provide the dowel bar if it is still safe but you have to still provide the dowel bar minimum dowel bar so if you are using 20 mm of dia of the bar for dowel or 16 mm of dowel bar for dowel you have to provide phone number of bar minimum you have to provide phone number of dowel bar how dowel bar is provided i will show you in figure this orange bar that is coming from column and gone into the footage so this will be dowel bar okay and self rate is coming at 86 this will be safe here also so that will be okay for the design and this is for column 1 we haven't freeze all the way again repeat this you can change from the formula here you just select and go at the top what boxes we have taken for and for column 2 just change these values to d8 and f8 to i will show you d8 and f8 to O8 10 so from this you can change all the value and again repeat if you don't want to change what you have to do you can uh, just download that type 1 combined footing design we have done for both the columns ok and this will be development length for the dowel bars that is coming from the column so dia bar you have to provide what dia bar is coming for for a dowel from the column uh, deform bar you have taken so it decreases by 60% and side curve you have to provide for the footing our level length is 926 it is sufficient so everything is okay for the design or combined footing where a distance is provided so this will be the diagram this will be your all the bar that is coming at the top and the bottom and this will be the size of the overall depth cover and I have bar at the bottom for the first layer and second layer and this will be your figure for the reinforcement and total depth this will be your section and this will be your plan so this will be the diagram so you can easily design your combined footing of this type too when you have to consider the dimension first and a distance given okay so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video i will provide the link of this excel sheet so you can download it and if you need this excel unprotected sheet of this you can also download the unprotected sheet i will provide the link in the description but the value is higher so we have done uh, protect the sheet so you can uh, buy it in the lesser amount also okay so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel Thank you.